So today's topic is about cleaning up your space so that you can welcome in new, beautiful, positive things. So um, many of you have probably life goals, right? You want to manifest um, a beautiful relationship, maybe transform and start attracting healthy behavior from people. Maybe you want to attract health, money, whatever your desires are. Um, we sometimes forget one little step and that is cleaning up first. So that little step I have forgotten myself in the beginning a lot too because cleaning up and releasing is a lot of times painful. And I have been talking um, a lot here in this group about releasing the emotions. Not Don't numb your emotions, release them, cry, journal right the only th or maybe meditate the only thing is that if we hey Mary Mark, good to see you here here um, the only thing is that if we um, clean up our emotions and release them but if we don't fill the space with something else then we keep falling back into the old negative pattern so um, for example when you let go of a toxic boyfriend or toxic relationship but you don't fill up the space um, then you might have the chance to fall back so i have seen this in myself too um, when i try to let go of an ex or something or of a um, guy that i'm dating it um, isn't a fit and i don't fill up the space i'm not saying that i'm we have to like find a rebound and date another man immediately no but still fill up the space with something um, good and that's mostly self-love. Self-love is really a good space filler. Just like lots of self-attention and love. And um, maybe I will do another video about this. But when we don't fill up the space, we will always like feel so empty and want to go back. So that is not to be mistaken with love so when you feel like you're empty you miss him it doesn't always mean you love him it just means that he misses in your life and you need to fill up the space and the best thing is that you fill it up with self-love and um, the right man will come because the right therefore you set a standard you treat yourself right you talk good to yourself and um, there will be another man who will meet this um, standard and so on so i was talking a lot about emotional releasing and so on in order to um change our thoughts and emotions so that we can manifest something better right but also we have to be releasing physical stuff included old um maybe clothes or if you have um too much trash at home like maybe your finds or papers are um, not like organized. I'll be honest, like I have to like really clean up and organize and release all of, a lot of my papers that I'm owning at home still. So, um, because that really is dragging your energy and there's no space for something new, something better if your old space is, um, is full of clutter and are full of old things and so on so that's really important too when you want to release and clean up to not only look into emotions but also in your life include your stuff your clothing and the last point is included people you hang out with or date so regardless if this is your family or not um i really want to like you to be aware at least who do you spend your time with and what kind of influence do they have on you because people have influence on you if you want or not and therefore really look deep down like is this the best person to hang out with maybe she just like complains the whole day how awful life is and maybe she or he um, judges all the time all other people so of course if this is your family hi Laura, good to see you here of course if this is your family i mean you cannot like abandon them and just like 
leave forever but maybe just be aware what kind of conversation you are um, engaging in how much time you choose to spend with them and really choose consciously with who you spend your time and at the end it is always like this um, you cannot manifest better behavior or people that treat you better when you keep stuck with the old uh, persons that don't light you up but leak your energy so for example any girlfriends that uh, aren't a match for you anymore or maybe you date someone who's not a match for you anymore and you still keep being around them because you know you just know them but when you know they're not the right match really release them even if it feels painful first because then you have space then you have space for something new and something better so i'm going to share with you um a really private example about a girlfriend of mine so she asked me to do something for her and i didn't want to do it because it crossed my boundary and i just didn't want to do it for her so i said no and therefore she told me that she's going to um leave me block me and i felt so about like it was like my best friend and i felt so abandoned i felt so sad and i just felt like mistreated because i've been always there for her in my eyes i've done everything right i've been always there for her but there was like i was always supporting her but i had boundaries i will not do everything for her and then she left and first i felt so sad and then i was like okay i'm going to accept it this time i was not cleaning up but the universe took her away from me and maybe she's not the right match I will keep brief through it and I will open up for new girlfriends, for new connections. And it is amazing because only when she left, only when I was on an empty place, I could manifest other girlfriends and um, I would t can talk to regularly that are so matching my energy. We are so supporting each other and so much growing um, each other and we are so much on the same place and this is like the girlfriend I was like wishing for months and years and only when the, my other best friend disappeared only then I was manifesting them so when you have some kind of blockage um, when you want to manifest something but you feel like there's a blockage to um, if you cannot do it really look into it do you have some kind of space holder that doesn't that does not um serve you well if yes then release them and i know it feels um painful to stand on an empty space but this is when you are magnetic magnetic to new better experiences and be really aware and conscious who you let in as your new experience and what you let in and um then it will all work out for you. So thank you so much for watching and um, I talk to you soon.